nature's truth, the truth of fall, the autumn's fruition, vision, and recognition. And it is not main knowledge, little and leafing and growing green, blooming out and blossoming white. It is not the knowing and the knowledge of the gold fall on the ripened, darkening vineyard, nor the black, tormented, drenching, and raining knowledge of birth, April, and travail, the knowledge of the womb's convulsions and the coiled cords, rambled artery, severed and cut open as the root forces its way up from the dark loam. The agony of the first knowledge of pain is worse than death, or worse than the thought of death. No poppy, no preparation, no initiation, no illusion, only the beginning. I'm so distant from all knowledge and all conclusion, all indecision and all illusion. Summer knowledge is green knowledge. Country knowledge, the knowledge of growing and the supple recognition of the fullness and the fatness and the roundness of ripeness. It is bird knowledge, and the knowing that trees possess when the sap ascends to the leaf and the flower and the fruit, which the root never sees, and the root believe, believes in the darkness and the ignorance of winter knowledge. The knowledge of the fruit is not the knowledge possessed by the root in its indomitable darkness of ambition, which is the condition of belief beyond conception of experience or the gratification of fruition. Summer knowledge is not picture knowledge, nor is it the knowledge of lore and learning. It is not the knowledge known from the mountain's heights. It is not the garden's view of the distant mountains of hidden fountains. It is not the still vision in a gold frame. And it is not the measured and treasured sentences of sentiments. It is cat knowledge. Deer knowledge. The knowledge of the full-grown foliage of the snowy blossom and the rounding fruit. It is the phoenix knowledge of the vine and the grape near summer's end, when the grape swells and the apple reddens. It is the knowledge of the ripening apple when it moves to the fullness of the time of falling, to rottenness and death. For summer knowledge is the knowledge of death as birth. Of death is the soil of all abounding, flowering, flaring rebirth. It is the knowledge of the truth of love and the truth of growing. It is the knowledge before and after knowledge. For, in a way, summer knowledge is not knowledge at all. It is second nature, first nature fulfilled, a new birth and a new death for rebirth. Soaring and rising out of the flames of turning October, burning November, and the towering and falling fires growing more and more vivid and tall in the consummation and the annihilation of the blaze of fall.